what's up, pros and hoes, whatever floats your goat. It's your boy, Relentless, and yes, I'm bringing you yet another Division video. I hope each and every one of you are having a fantastic and a fabulous Monday. Um, I want to make mention of a quick few things. We still have the ongoing Cinch Gaming Controller giveaway, $180 value. Uh, that link is in the description below. Also, please check out Revolution Gaming. Uh, awesome positive gaming community not just based around division we're not just one-sided we're multifaceted on every game that's out there uh, and we have tons of community members as well as staff uh, at your disposal waiting to help you with whatever questions that you may have uh, so be sure to go check them out um, I haven't seen too many uh, content creators come out with uh, this particular build, it's usually always three and three, <clears throat> or different hybrid builds or high end builds. But uh, as far as if you like using uh, the SASG 12 shotgun uh, and such as LMGs, then this is the ultimate perfect build for you. It'll completely shred, and they'll be hands down. No questions asked, and as you can see, all the victims lined up behind me. These are all the ones that I put in timeout as I've roamed the dark zone, just completely destroying everything in my path. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. As you can see, it's Lone Star Savage and Specialized. And on my SASG-12, 110k base damage with brutal, responsive, and competent. And in my magazine, I have 110.5% magazine size, 5% reload speed, and 5.3% rate of fire. And my optics, 24.5% optimal range, 3% crit chance, 4% crit damage. And my small underbarrel, 49% optimal range, 5% reload speed, and 4% crit hit damage. Now, if you combine those numbers that I have as far as optimal range, your optimal range is actually greater than what is on a uh, SMG. So if you want to, you know, stagger and put a significant amount of damage down range um, while either they're running away or they're running at you, and you can drop them either running toward you, then this is definitely the way to mod your SA SG12 shotgun. You want that optimal range, and when those two combined. I have 73.5% optimal range on my S ASG-12S. And it shoots completely fast. And also, I have competent in the third slot for the extra 10% boost of damage. Accompanied with booster shot at the same time. And this makes this a wrecking machine with 340% stagger. And as my secondary, my trusty pecan... Uh, you don't have to use a pecan. You can also use a hungry hog like I have here. Or basically uh, any LMG. I just like the pecan because it's more of like an AR. And on it I have deadly, destructive, and the pecan talent. And that talent is each kill makes the next reload have 20% extra bullets compared to its base. And it's modded uh, in my magazine size. 110%, 3% crit chance, and 4.8% rate of fire. Uh, large optics, rugged mini reflex sight, 7.5% crit hit chance, 5.5% headshot damage, and 4% crit hit damage. And I have a Omega rifle suppressor, 18% headshot damage, 4% crit hit damage, 3% crit hit chance, and 50% reduced threat. Now moving on to the gear. Uh, starting off with the chest piece, I had a decent... Firearms roll, I wish the armor roll values was a little greater on this. But if you have, like, Lone Star gloves, you can easily substitute that. And I would go with, like, a rapid chest piece. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can also go reckless for that extra damage. Um, or even the Barrett's chest piece. The sky's the limit. It's up to you. Uh, for those pesky um, sticky bombs or seeker mines before they get fixed or changed... I also have 9% exotic damage resilience uh, and also 15,857 in health with 51% ammo capacity. But the ammo capacity doesn't necessarily matter because the talents on the Lone Star is plus 100% ammo capacity. It set bonuses 8% LMG damage and 8% shotgun damage. 
And in the mod slots, 259 firearms, 50% skill haste. And in the second mod slot, 263 electronics and 3% skill haste. Moving on to the mask. Good stamina roll. As the major attributes, I chose to go with skill power. And then the miners, 14% uh, increased kill XP, which is I wish it was something else. I do have this other um, mask here that has a better base armor roll. And if I'm doing such as uh, PBE things, then I would switch to this right here. So that way I get the 4% health on a kill. And I get a little bit more base armor value out of it. But as you can see, my numbers drop. But yet my damage does increase significantly. Because this is rolled to firearms. Whereas this one is rolled to stamina. So it's always good to have a plan B uh, for basically every, every gear type that you have. Um, the weather, if I want to dish out more damage, and I'm running with a group, doing PvP things, and then also have um, another gear piece along the same line, such as, as you see here, a secondary mask, or a secondary chest piece, or a secondary pair of gloves, or something I can mix and match, uh, depending on whether I'm doing PvP or PvE. So... That's a good thing to keep in mind and a rule of thumb. So that way, you know, you don't have to be one particular way. Um, let's say if you're running Last Stand or in the DZ, um, PvPing, and then all of a sudden, you know, your group that you're with uh, decide that they want to go and uh, do PvE things such as incursions or dailies or weeklies or or anything that involves uh, PvE, then you have something you can switch to that'll better suit you doing those PvE uh, events. And in the mod slot, I have 259 stamina and 3% skill haste. Moving on to the knee pads, uh, 1235 in firearms. I wish that was a little bit higher. Uh, usually my cutoff is 1250 uh, base value as far as the lowest I'll go. Uh, but these are the best ones that I currently had. And it's, it's fairly decent. It's not complete trash. It's not complete garbage. It has a decent uh, base armor roll on them. And the major attributes, I have 12,559 skill power. Minor attribute, attributes, burn resistance, damage to elites, and disrupt resistance. Now the damage to elites, since this is the only pair of Lone Star knee pads I have, then this can work either in PvP or PvE. But if this was specifically for PvP, I'd rather have shock resistance where damage to elites are. are. But, um, since I do both, the 13% damage to elites comes in handy for either PvP or PvE. And in the mod slot, I have 263 electronics, 3% skill haste, and 5.5% first aid self heal. Moving on to the backpack. You all know it's specialized backpack. has a good firearms roll. Uh, 1308 base armor, which is pretty decent. Uh, major attributes, uh, as always, health. And the minor attributes is bleed resistance. If you notice, I don't have ammo capacity in either my chest or my backpack due to the simple fact I get plus 100% ammo capacity with the Lone Star. So the bleed resistance uh, does come in really handy, especially on those legendary incursions uh, where the NPCs can um, cause uh, put bleed on a status effect on your character. And also for those pesky uh, shrapnel uh, in the DZ when it comes to the Seeker Mines or... For if you're going against a group uh, that has Predator's Mark in their group. So it works out real nice and handy. But moving on to the mod slots. 261 firearms, 2% skill haze, 6% first aid self heal, and another 6% first aid self heal. Moving on to the gloves, Savage Gloves. Uh, decent base armor roll, 972. It goes to 1001, uh, which I had a better pair, but this will work. Uh, as you can see, I got the trifecta, crit hit chance, shotgun damage, and crit hit damage because primarily I will be using the shotgun because I plan on getting really up close and personal. But with the optimal range that I have on my sausage, uh, I don't necessarily have to get too close as you normally would if you didn't have optimal range on it and still basically just uh, sausage them down. Give them a taste of my good old sausage and it has long reach. But anyways, um, whether it may be the LMG, if that's your, your preferred weapon uh, on this build and you want your shotgun into secondary, then you can switch out shotgun damage for LMG damage. But that is the trifecta that you want on any pair of gloves, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and the weapon type. 
unless you're specking uh, into skill haste and running a skill haste build. <clears throat> then you can take off either the weapon damage type or the crit hit damage and substitute that for skill haste. Moving on to the holster. A uh, decent holster, 1249, 1262, 1229, uh, decent armor roll, uh, 7,298 in health. And then another 5.5% first aid self heal. I do have this holster here, but as you can see, its main stats across the board are really abysmal and low. Uh, besides the firearms. So that's why I opted in to roll the other one. Um, I had to roll the firearms on this one because it was a crappy roll on it. And if I had to choose between the two, I really have three great stats and health, then one good stat, two miserable stats, and then skill haste. But if preferred, if I had uh, a different holster with good main stats like this one, then in the major attribute spot, uh, you can go with health. But if I had to choose, I would rather go with the skill haste. So let's go on to the character sheet. As you can see, 13% damage to elites, 144.9, almost 145k skill power, 15% skill haste. Uh, my toughness is at 330.8. My max health pool is 224k, and my armor value is 32.19%. So overall, this is an awesome build, and I guarantee you, if you come across me and the DZ, then you're going to be here with all these other little folks that I've just completely destroyed. And I had to send them in, cage them up, and put them in the food line because uh, they just can't PvP anymore. I just demoralize them so bad that they just give up and then go into these concentration camps. But anyways, this is the build. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the giveaway link in the description below and also Revolution Gaming in the description below. Uh, and if you choose to go purchase you a brand new controller, I recommend the Cinch Gaming Controller with Cinch Tech um, with the reprogrammable buttons. They're on the back and you can reprogram them and remap them just by using an app on your phone. And it comes with Trigger Devils so that way you can adjust your trigger stops uh, to better suit your needs and aim down sights faster because... It requires less pressure being put on the buttons for you to actually shoot or pull up your your sights or ADSing as somebody as others would call it. Um, also, you can tighten up your joysticks and don't forget um, to put on slap on some control freaks on that bad boy as well. But this is your boy Relentless. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the division is slowly dying. And as you can see on my channel, I've really become addicted to Rainbow Six Siege. Um, it's a lot more competitive, a lot more strategic, and if you have yet to try it out, I recommend try it out uh, or try watching some of my videos that's on the channel. Uh, all your support is greatly appreciated, and we'll see you guys fudging later. I got broads in the land, twisted the lean, the family, credit cards in the scams, hitting the licks in the band.